Hi friends, welcome to Book A Day for Little Learners. Friends, today we're going to read Anti-Racist Baby by Ibram Kendi and illustrations are by Ashley Lukashevsky. Anti-Racist Baby is bred, not born. Anti-Racist Baby is raised to make society transform. Babies are taught to be racist or anti-racist. There's no neutrality. Take these nine steps to make equity a reality. Do your part. One, open your eyes to all skin colors. Anti-racist baby learns all the colors, not because race is true. If you claim to be colorblind, you deny what's right in front of you. Two, use your words to talk about race. No one will see racism if we only stay silent. If we don't name racism, it won't stop being so violent. We have to work together. Three, point at policies as the problem, not people. Some people get more while others get less because policies don't always grant equal access. Four, shout. There's nothing wrong with the people. Even though all races are not treated the same, we are all human, anti-racist baby can proclaim. We're all human, we all love. Five, celebrate all our differences. Anti-racist baby doesn't see certain groups as better or worse. Anti-racist baby loves a world that's truly diverse. Everybody's different. Six, knock down the stack of cultural blocks. Anti-racist baby appreciates how groups speak, dance, and create as they choose. Anti-racist baby welcomes all groups voicing their unique views. Seven, confess when being racist. Nothing disrupts racism more than when we confess the racist ideas that we sometimes express. Eight, grow to be an anti-racist. Anti-racist baby is always learning, changing, and growing. Anti-racist baby stays curious about all people and isn't all-knowing. Always learn more. Nine, believe we shall overcome racism. Anti-racist baby is filled with the power to transcend, my friend, and doesn't judge a book by its cover, but reads until the end. Keep moving, keep growing, keep moving forward. Thank you for joining me for Anti-Racist Baby today. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for another new story.